Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to see the interview questions asked at Infosys company for the round one. Right. So there are multiple rounds that we have in the Infosys company when you are being hired for a software testing field. And these are the questions that you can focus for round one. Again, see, these are the questions that were asked to one of my subscriber, right? So she has shared that doesn't mean that you will get the same questions, but you can expect these type of questions on these lines. Right? So the very first question is about XPath and type. So in this kind of question, you can tell them about uh, absolute XPath and relative XPath, why relative XPath is good compared to absolute XPath, why you should go for a relative XPath uh, in comparison to the absolute XPath. Then priority and severity. What is priority? What is severity? You can give them one one example of uh, defect with low priority, low severity, low priority, high severity, or uh, or high priority, low severity, or high priority, high severity. So these kind of questions you will get, right? If you are not telling them the examples, so they might also ask you, like, tell me one defect with low priority and uh, high severity kind of thing, right? So any kind of permutation combination question you can get, right? Then the third question is about access in the X path. So uh, I need to still uh, look into this question. What kind of question is this, right? Then it is about scenario for making a payment on shop through QR code. Okay, so if you are scanning QR code and you are doing a payment, so which are the various test scenarios that you will write? Right, so one kind of test scenario might be that you might be trying from various mobile devices, Android, iOS, right? Then you might be uh, making sure that your camera light is turned on or off while making payment on shop through QR code if proper light is not there. Then if you are scanning the QR code, then after the next step is the name of the shopkeeper or the website where you are doing that scanning that should come display, right? And the amount should be displayed in the numeric digits in the Indian currency or whichever currency or whichever, you know, uh, as per localization, globalization, whichever country you are in. So as per that currency should get display. Then you can also tell about scanning QR code via various apps like Paytm, PhonePay, Google Pay. So these kind of things you can tell. How file uploading is achieved in Selenium, how we can achieve it. So again, you know, this is a kind of, uh, you know, third party tool integration. You can take help of auto IT, PowerShell scripting, right? And you can tell these kind of answer. Then TRM, okay, this is traceability matrix, right? Then uh, what is traceability matrix? What is the significance of traceability matrix? Why you should have traceability matrix, right? Then OOPS concept. So again, inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, encapsulation, they will ask you to write a code or they will ask you how you have implemented them in your framework, right? So for example, for inheritance, I'm giving you, you would have created some base class and there would be one parent class which would be extending that base class, right? Multiple inheritance, how we can use it. So these are all Java related questions, exception handling, try catch, okay. then. 10th number is about stale element reference exception, but you can also get a question like, which are the various uh, Selenium based exceptions that you are aware of? And uh, how, how have you handled them? How will you make sure that it does not get repeated? How will you handle the situation when element not visible exception is there? Then agile methodology, scrum methodology, right? The pros and cons of agile compared to waterfall, what is scrum, what is Kanban? So one question you can expect based on agile, right? Then hot fixing or production issue, right? So over here, you can get questions like, uh, have you ever worked in a scenario where you are providing hot fix? So for example, there is a P0 issue in the customer environment at customer end or at client's end. So you would be working on hot fix. So what you would be doing, you would, your, your development team would be delivering the hot fix and you would have to test that fix or patch as soon as possible and making sure the unit testing as well as integration testing is done properly due to that fix the other things are not getting breaks so regression issues are not coming so how will you handle this kind of what would be your test strategy in case of you have to provide hot fix another thing is with respect to production issues so same if any production issues are coming so as per your company's sla let's say in some companies they are having like 
if there is any critical issue so you need to provide the fix as soon as possible or if it's a blocker issue then you have to fix it or uh, something like this right so these things you have to tell them and what would be the impact and how will you deal with that impact what would be your test strategy that the quality is not getting compromised now the last question is if that particular big bug is missed by you then how will you justify yourself okay so so in this kind of question you know there is nothing um, to feel guilty right this happens uh, that uh, you know there is so much of work to be done and in in sometimes you know because of adequate work and less time the bugs get fixed. so you have to tell them that if any such things happens then what you would be doing is you would be um, making sure that you are documenting those test cases right and uh, you would be taking care the best thing that can be done from your side right if any particular bug is missed by you so you would be documenting the test cases you would be documenting the test scenarios you will be making sure that it is um, included in the checklist of the release from next time onwards that you know it's a it, it's a critical thing that needs to be uh, handled and the client or the customer also needs to be assured that such things should be taken care right so if such questions are coming then you have to tell what would be your next action steps right so these were the questions that were asked to one of my subscriber in the infosys first round of interview so thank you so much for watching this video and if you are also getting such kind of questions please please do share with us right, at rd automation learning at gmail.com you can you can also send your um, cvs for the mock interview we will contact you right rd automation learning at gmail.com and again for mock interviews it is free of course we are not charging anything but it is just a one condition that you need to join with a good internet connection so we can record the interview and we can upload it on our youtube channel right so thank you so much for watching this video stay tuned for more updates uh, have a nice day